This was all over my Twitter yesterday. Sony is back with an unexpected product. Or, well, I mean, not unexpected for those that are into it, but certainly not as mainstream as it used to be. I'm talking about the Walkman. Uh, I've always been a fan of Sony, and I feel like Sony kind of started the pocket electronics Mm. in in terms of the Walkman. I even had a mini disc player at one time. But the idea of a portable electronic, you can kind of put probably the Walkman and the Game Boy Mm. as the early phase of what that is. And now, obviously, so many of our electronics and technology products are in our pockets Mm -hmm. or in a bag or they go with us places, batteries and so forth. Well... The reason that this was all over Twitter yesterday is that they've launched a new high-resolution Walkman with a far more affordable price, and people seem to love the design of it. Although I think this article doesn't do an amazing job of showing the image. Oh, there we go. Okay. So people are loving the design. You have some tactile Mm -hmm. buttons. uh, You have uh, sort of a lack of a massive bezel on the front edge. You have a little texture and grip on the back of it. It's like a whole different science fiction future than what we see with a lot of other electronics brands where they're kind of trying to get rid of all buttons. This one's yeah. like, no, we're going to give you some tactile buttons. It's nice on one side. It kind of has that cassette like feel. It does. All the buttons on one side. It does. So that you're when you're holding it, you can kind of instinctively reach the commonly used buttons without even thinking uh-huh. about it, without interacting with an interface at all. Now, the reason you might be thinking, why are people even buying these? Okay, so these are are playing like high resolution audio, PCM forty uh, PCM format audio, twenty four bit, ninety six kilohertz resolution. So this is for the audiophile types. It's for the aficionados. Can you hear the difference? Can you not? Well, listen, that's completely up to you. Um, but for those that are looking for something like this, also probably some nostalgic folks. This is more affordable than some of the other high-resolution players they've put out recently, up to like $4,000. Actually, if you go back to the article, I think there's a link, the Signature Series. See where there's a link that says Signature Series? Check these. This is the stuff they've put out like as recent as last year. I think that thing's $4,000. The gold-plated whatever (laughs) comes packaged in a 99.99% purity, gold-plated, oxygen-free copper chassis. I don't think you need that, but I don't know how heavy your nostalgia is. This one, on the other hand, is going to be around 350 bucks. If you listen to a tremendous amount of music and you take it very seriously, maybe you look at something like this. And then the beauty of it as well, having a separate device and having wired connections. And I don't, it's again, it's niche now. It's not for, it's not going to be in everybody's pocket, but you're getting like an extra 30 hours of listening. And maybe you don't want to completely deplete your phone. Maybe you use it on the airplane. For, I don't know. Well, it's up to you. You might, whatever you appreciate. It's like people, like, it's like people buying really fine cameras as well hmm. to a certain extent where you could just say, take the photo on your smartphone. It's fine. It's not the way people listen. But then some people, they listen to Spotify or whatever, and they're like, and, and it doesn't, you know, they wish there was more to it. They feel that they're they're lacking. They have a really, uh, they're, maybe they're used to a hi-fi system, high-res files. Mm-hmm. And you pair it with their uh, really great headphones. That's something then. Yeah, that mm-hmm. might be something, Will. Fair enough. 